here. Yeah, what did I tell you? Hey, how did you know that Gina would head back across the border? Well, think about it. That that kid who hotwired a rental car in Tijuana said he found the thing uh, abandoned and unlocked. She has to know somebody's following her, and she just dumped it to try to throw us off the track. They still could have stayed in Mexico. Yeah, that's what she wants us to think, but uh, she and Brandon would be way too conspicuous south of the border. Plus, she'd have a lot of trouble using her credit cards. What are you doing? What time is it? Oh, I think it's a little after nine. Okay, if they got gas here at seven thirty, that means they could have gone another what, eighty miles or so. Uh, north. They were traveling north, northeast, more or less. Why did you ask the gas station attendant for this guidebook? Well, because because Brandon's going to get tired and she'll need a place to stay. What do they have in the way of uh, motels and hotels around um, this little town called Desert Vista? Okay. What did Rosa say when you called? Oh, she said apparently Lionel didn't tell anyone that Gina had run off with Brandon, so she said that she'd break the news to everybody. Ah, uh, here. Mm -hmm. Desert Vista. Uh, one hotel and three motor inns. Well, at least there aren't 20. Cruz, wait. How do we know that Gina didn't turn off somewhere else? Well, we don't know. All we can do is make our best guess. And go. Happy New Year, mister. Happy New Year to you, kid. Happy New Year to your mom. Show sure us look this good, or is it just on holidays? Where is room number two? Oh, it's right down the hall, right down there on your left. And you'll find a heater in there. It's practically new. Want me to be in the suitcases for you, Mommy? That'd be very nice, sweetheart. Now, you don't hesitate to call on me if you need anything. Room one there is empty. That's where I crash. I'll be up pretty late watching the doings on TV. I like to watch that ball come down, you know, in New York City. Around midnight, watch all them crazy people with their tails out there freezing. Of course, it doesn't matter anyway, because it's by delayed satellite, so it's already midnight there. But, you know, as a matter of fact, you know, it's already uh, a year earlier there than it is here. I never really thought about it that way. Actually, there is a favor you could do for me. Oh, now, what is that? Maybe uh, you need a little kissing around midnight. Well... First, I'd want to make sure the man who was doing the kissing was someone I could trust. Alone? Yes. Start talking. I can do it, Minx, and I will. Would it have me thrown in jail? I might prefer that. Will you sit down and be still? You've given your last order to me. All right. How much do you know? No. You're not going to play it that way. You're not going to tailor your story so you only have to tell me as much as you have to. I was trying to protect you, Rick. I followed your every step. I made sure you had everything you wanted. Stop telling me what you tried to do for me. You didn't give a damn about what happened to me. Rick Wallace is dead. Would you want to change places with him? I spared you the, the name and the fate that went with him. But because of me, you're alive. Here they are. Oh, no, you're kidding. No, they're here. They're here, everyone. No, no, wait, 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 I uh, trust, of course, you will be to your own wedding, won't you? Well, I couldn't help being stuck out there, you know. No, no, I know. I, I... Okay, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. For what? I yes. did the party. I, I've ruined it now. It's so sweet yeah, of you to do. Don't thank me. I knew no more about it than you did. I thought you were the one that did all this. No. This was, uh, this was Dylan. It was his idea. All the way. Oh.
I did not tell the first lie, Brick. It was done by your mother, your, your real mother. Sophia Capwell. If you want to be angry, be angry with her. If I'd let things alone, you'd still have had a name that wasn't yours. Because I'm Lionel's son. You're my grandson. And your idea of family pride is giving me away to strangers? What about my parents? Well, the people I've, uh, I've, I've called my parents most of my life. They, they had no idea, did they? The Wallaces. No, no, no. I took great pains to see to that. So all those uh, expensive presents and, and, and gifts on holidays and... I mean, and for no reason at all. They were for my father. I mean, I mean, I mean, man, I thought it was my... They were from you. And all this time, uh, my mom and my dad, we thought that my dad was doing well and he'd be coming back to us soon. Did you try to keep him away from us? No, of course not. There was only one person who knew what I had done. And I could rely on her self-interest to keep, keep it quiet. So that was, uh... <laughs> I was a nurse at the hospital, right? Why? Well, not to harm you. What do you think it would do to me? Do you think, what did you intend for me never to find out? When decisions must be made, one can't foresee what may happen a quarter of a century later. I don't believe you. You've never been without a plan. It was after Lionel and Augusta were married. Augusta was in Europe with her mother traveling. But I learned Lana was seeing a little Hollywood starlet named Sophia Wayne. So uh, you kept quiet as usual, huh? Well, I thought it would end when Augusta came back. But Lionel continued to find excuses to go away on weekends. So I arranged for Sophia to be told that her lover was a married man. So what then? I mean, did, did Sophia break, break it off? I thought so, until she returned here to Santa Barbara as the fiancé of Cece Capo. But I decided to watch Sophia. I wanted to find out whether she and Lionel were still seeing each other. And one afternoon, I followed her to a Catholic church. She went into conf confessional. She was there for an hour and came out in tears. It was obvious that she was guilty. I had to know what she told the priest. So uh, somehow you made him tell you, right? She told him that she was pregnant with Lionel's child. You... Which, uh, she went through with the wedding anyway, right? She named me after her new husband. So you see, it was she who changed your identity, not I. But you, you could have told her. You could have, you could have broke, you could have told Lionel. I came very close to it once. It became obvious that Sophia was carrying a child. I called Lionel into my room, but before I could speak to him, he told me that he had some news. Augusta is pregnant with Warren. So you didn't tell him? She didn't want to risk breaking up his marriage. And he didn't want to lose legitimate heir. Right? I, I, I wanted both children. So what did you do next? I warned you what the consequences would be. No! Nurse! Somebody! Yeah, this bottle is my sole companion on these long, lonely nights. I don't drink very much myself. 
Yeah, well, uh, if I knew you were coming, I would have bought another bottle of champagne. <laughs> Whoops, you put that little fella to bed, did you? Yeah, he was really tired. We've been driving all day. Oh, yeah, where are you going? Now, that's a secret, mister. Uh, you can call me Dale. Now, what was that favor you wanted to ask me? Oh, here's sand in your eyes. You don't have any mud around here. Uh, I was wondering... If you wouldn't mind not telling anyone I was here, in case anybody should ask. I'd be willing to buy you that bottle of champagne. Uh, the very best. You wouldn't happen to have an angry husband dog in your trail, would you? No, nothing like that. I'm not going to find that kid's picture on a milk carton in the morning when I drink that stuff, if I ever did. Uh, Dale, do I look like a kidnapper? I don't think I've ever seen a kidnapper. Only one bottle of champagne, huh? Hello. Oh, Mrs. Cranston, thank God you're all right. Anybody? No, I heard you calling for help, and I came upstairs as fast as I could. Uh, did someone break in? Yes. Is Daddy all right? Yes, he's fine. They must have climbed out that window. Should I call the police? Uh, no. I'll take care of it. Look, do, do you see anyone? Look, I isn't that someone circling around? Stay here. Be careful. I don't care what you say. I don't care who you say it to. You're not getting another sin out of me. I'm not afraid of you. Did you see him? No. What were you shouting? What went on up there? I, I was... I was upstairs in Daddy's room and, and someone jumped me in. Oh, my God. Are you hurt? No, I'm fine. Oh, was that window open before, too? Was that how he got in? I don't know. I, I think I would have noticed. I was in the kitchen. I didn't see anyone go up there. I really think you should call the police right I will, away. I will. Uh, just please go upstairs with my father. Oh, all right. I'll, I'll finish out my shift, but I... I really think after tonight, you'd better find someone else to replace me. I understand. I'm sorry. Would you, would you come up with me and, and make sure he hasn't come back? I wish sure. Mr. Cranston were here. Oh, so do I. He, he went out on a business trip in San Francisco. I don't even know how to reach him. What about that route east we just passed? What about it? Well, if Gina was smart, wouldn't she take it? Wouldn't she change directions? Well, maybe, but we can't track her four directions at once, you know? We, one decision at a time. Mm. You want me to pull over for a second and get our uh, coats out of the trunk? No, I'm all right. Just keep driving. <laughs> I think that's my basic problem. What's that? One decision at a time. Seems like whenever I have a choice, I want both things at once. It doesn't work that way. No, it doesn't. Gave it Brandon, but I wanted to keep him. I was in love with Channing. At the same time, I knew that we weren't right for each other. You know, I've never heard you say that before. I wasn't blind. I was, but not completely. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. I'm of two minds about you, too. I wanted you to be happy with Eden. 
But the, at the same time, I, I couldn't help thinking that there was someone else who was better for you. I'm not terribly subtle, am I? Never mind. Come back over here. You know, I just never thought of you that way. I know. That's not true. I did. I did, actually. More than once. But I... I, I thought I wasn't supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> We're funny people, you and I. It's, I think it comes from growing up in a country where our parents felt like guests. You were taught to be so well-behaved mm. that even falling in love might seem impolite. Yeah. Anyway, I... I think I'm gonna leave. If I hadn't have been so obedient, I wouldn't have given... I wouldn't have lost Brandon. Yeah, well, you were young, and you just got overpowered by Channing and Mr. C. And gullible, and blind, and weak. My son... There's nothing that I've ever felt or done that, that matters like my son. If only I could... If I could love him and take care of him, Maybe all of this would mean something. Is it that I know the feeling? Should old acquaintance be forgot? Well, I think in your case it should. I'm having a total relapse of amnesia as far as you're concerned. Thank you, Dale. Uh, hold it. Uh, I think you made one mistake. Sign the register. Oh, right. That was my mistake. Uh, they'll probably just show you a picture, and all you have to do is say you never saw me. Okay. Thanks. Do you know where I can get any food around here? If Brandon wakes up, he's probably going to be hungry. Yeah, there's a diner down the road, about a half a mile. Thanks a lot. Yeah, hold it, hold it, hold it. I mean, you're going to come back and help me celebrate that ball coming down in New York City, aren't you? Well... Actually, I have a lot of driving ahead of me tomorrow. Oh, you know, I mean, I am so forgetful that uh, I think I might forget to forget. Room one, I'll bring the party hats. Right. <sighs> well, it's happened again. What's happening? Hey, Ted, was that Rose outside? Yeah. Why didn't she come in? Why didn't she uh, stay for the party? Gina's taking Brandon with you. What? Where? We don't know where. Well, do the police know about it? Yeah, well, Rosa said that Cruz and Zidane went out there looking for him, but they've been gone since before Christmas. Is Brandon your nephew? Well, uh, yeah, it's, it's complicated. Well, yeah, let's not get into this. Excuse me. Ted, have you seen Mason? He's disappeared. I, uh, yeah, yeah, he's in the bathroom. He's been drinking too much. Yeah, maybe he's sick. Oh. <clears throat> Fireworks will happen soon. On the beach, they're going to set some off now and then again at midnight. Mm. The whole time you were out there, you didn't tell her about the party, huh? No, it was a surprise. She was a little bit surprised when I mentioned it to her. That's, That's right. good. What did you talk about? Not much. Motion on how to get out of there. You know, it's a good thing I mentioned, uh, I mentioned this to Pearl. Otherwise, I would have known that you two were going to be out there. You would have had to spend the whole night together. Just like that time in the ghost town. I'm glad that didn't happen. Oh, there they are. You want to come out in here? No, no, I'm not much on fire. Okay. This, this is the most difficult part to tell. What's that? Fireworks down at the beach. The year is ending, Minx. Other people have things to celebrate. You can't say that I didn't try to make it up to you. How about bringing me into your house? Making me your chauffeur? Oh, there's more to it than that. Oh, yeah, the 
real estate holdings, the stocks, the bonds. I tried to give back what was your due. A whole life that I never had? How can you give that back to me? It never was. What is it you resent so bitterly? Not being raised as a Lockridge or a Capwell? I resent being made the excuse for all your lies that you people tell each other. No grandchild of mine was going to be brought up in a Capwell house. I was really willing to risk everything to prevent that. All right, I've heard all of that, Nix, huh? How the uh, Capwell, Capwells destroyed your family business and destroyed uh, your husband and his mother. It's only a story to you, but I had to live it. You're as insensitive to my life as you claim I have been to yours. Yeah, well, what about the people that raised me? They stole their son. He's dead. Well, I couldn't have known that that would happen. He's a beautiful child. They both were... Why, why his son? I mean, why, why the son of Glenn and Kate Wallace? Well, I had no choice. I knew weeks ahead what I was going to do. I found someone in the hospital to help me, a, a young nurse, Mrs. Cordell. She was recently divorced with a daughter of her own to raise. She, she needed money. With her help, I found out a good deal about each of the families, expecting children. The day Sophia went into labor, I never wanted to choose the Wallaces. They were transients in town, that they had no permanent address traveling with the circuses they did. That morning, you were born. First Sophia had had a, a long and difficult delivery. You were weeks overdue, which of course no one knew save myself and her. It was lucky, though in a way, because Cece never suspected the child was not his. They brought you into the nursery until Sophia came out of anesthesia. The next child was a girl, and the next. I was running out of time before Sophia would wake and ask to see her son. Then Barnaby Wallace was born. I didn't know what to do. If I went through with my plan, the Wallaces would take you away out of Santa Barbara and I would lose you altogether. Mrs. Cordell brought the child into the nursery while she was... Well, the mother was still in the recovery room and left the rest to me. I went through with it. I switched the identification myself, vowing that whether the Wallaces took you I would find you someday and bring you back to your rightful home. I kissed, kissed each, each of the children and begged their forgiveness and God. Then I left. You gave yourself the power to rearrange destinies. As you saw fit. Rick, Rick, I'm your flesh and blood. I love you. Gina Capwell, or Gina DeMott, or uh, Mary Tucker. There's no telling what name she'd be using. Have you seen her? She'd be with a little boy. Yeah, well, now, uh, when is this supposed to have happened? Or, uh... Tonight. Tonight, yeah. Cruz, I really don't think she's here. Why don't we just check the other motels out? Just a out? second, Santana. Do you mind if we take a look around? Uh, no, I, I'll tell you what, yeah, I wasn't on duty, my brother was on duty. Let me just, uh, let me just show this to him, and, uh, let me check, and I'll, I'll be right back, okay, excuse me. Yeah, is this the register? 
Yeah, oh, oh, that, no, that was, uh, it is, it's just a blank pages. Uh, my brother keeps the records in his room. He, uh, I'll be right back. Let, let me just check with him. Okay. I, I, I really don't think Gina would stay in a place like this. Yeah, which makes it the last place we'd look, which makes it the first place she'd be. Sweetheart, are you finished with your bath yet? Almost. Okay, I'll just change out here. Look, Dale, I am busy right now. Where'd you get that? You just keep your mouth shut. You let me in and I'll tell you. There's this inspector, somebody, dark hair out there from Santa Barbara. Castile? Cruz? Yeah, Cruz, yeah. You should see this baby he's got with. Not a blonde girl. No. Santana. What did you tell them? Hey, I didn't tell him anything. I didn't see anything. But uh, my brother now, he might have seen something. I have to check with my brother. Hey, look, I already gave you $100. You didn't give my poor brother anything. I don't have that much cash. I need it for food and gas tomorrow. Well, so does my brother. Now, uh, if you don't have enough, we could sort of start that little New Year's Eve party early if you don't have enough money, honey. I thought you said they were right at the desk. Well, no, we. Here. Better spend your last dollar than kiss the on this way. How much time will that buy me? Hey, you just plump up those pillows, you close those pretty eyes and... Don't worry about it. Well, do you have a reservation form under under Cranston or or Capital Enterprises? I say thank you. I've been calling all over San Francisco. Uh, my flight hasn't arrived yet. I'm calling air to ground. Why, what's the matter? Kirk, he was here. Who? The blackmailer. He was in Daddy's room, and, and when I went in there, he, he caught me, and he put a rope around my neck, and he... Oh, no. Are, are you all right? Yeah, but he got away. He, he didn't hurt you at all? No. No no one was here in, in, in Daddy's room except the nurse, and, and she didn't even see him. He was wearing something over his face, so I still don't even know what he looks like. Eden, did you call the police? Not. Oh, you're right. Of course, I wasn't thinking. Look, the hell with business. Uh, as soon as we touch ground, I'm taking the first flight back, all right? Well, that should put me in somewhere around um, midnight. Are you alone right now? The nurse is still here. Okay, I'll tell you what, then. You lock the door and the windows, and you stay upstairs with her. I'll be home for, uh, before you know it, sweetheart. Thank you. I love you. Don't be afraid. Bye. up here. I have a gun and I know how to use it.
What, what do you mean he thinks he remembers? Well, you know, my brother is one of these kind of guys, you know, he's kind of slow, God bless him. Oh, well, I'm not interested in his RPMs. I mean, did he see the woman or didn't he? Well, yeah, he thinks he did yesterday. I see. Well, that's impossible. Or, or, or maybe the day before. Yeah, yesterday, the day before, I see. Wait, 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 no, no, wait, 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 just, just hold on. I'm sure I can get through to him if you just sort of, like, uh, help me out a little, you uh -huh. know? Help you out, Hal? Well, I'm sure there's something that can be, you know... He wants perfect. money, Cruz. Oh! Of course. Talk about slow, huh? <laughs> I'm sorry, forgive me. So let me get this straight. You want, uh, I guess you'd call it a, a, a payoff from a police officer, is that it? Hey, hey, wait a minute. No, I, see, I don't minute. know yeah. about that. I don't know about that at hey, all, man. Hey. I mean, especially because this place got so many code violations going on here. Because you got these burned out light bulbs. I mean, inadequate lighting. That's a dangerous thing. Somebody can come here and break their leg. So room two on the left. She's got the kid with her. Thank you very much. Gina! Gina, open up! brother he's got. He must have come in here and warned her. Or uh, she left. You told her, didn't you? No, I didn't say so a thing. where was she headed? I don't know. She didn't We're talking about interstate kidnapping here, pal. Now, you want to get conversational with me or with the FBI? Hey, I swear she didn't say. Uh-huh. What kind of car was she driving? I don't know. Maybe it's in the ledger. Better be. Registration? No driver's license? Hey, what am I, the highway patrol? If we don't find her, you're pavement. Let's go. All right, no more, no more Californians in here. That's it. No more. in there but i know what his new year's resolution is going to be <laughs> what do you keep looking at just watching the nice party that's all y qué te parece si me prestaras más atención estás celosa no bueno hey hey escuchad todos escuchad me gustaría proponer un brindis. Muy bien, un brindis. Por el hombre que tuvo la idea de celebrar nuestro compromiso. Por el hombre cuya única idea era quedarse aislado en una plataforma marítima con la futura novia. No me suena a broma. He confiado en él. He confiado en él, sí, damas y caballeros. Hasta le pedí que fuera... El padrino. Por mi hermano Dylan Harley. Por la feliz pareja. ¿Qué he hecho yo para merecer esto? Es lo que siento. Te lo agradecemos, Dylan. Oh, no quiero que me deis las gracias, solo que seáis felices. Oh, lo somos. ¿No es así? ¿No lo somos? Sí, debería saberlo. Ya casi es la hora. ¿Cuántos segundos, cariño? 12 segundos, 11, 10. Cruz, ¿por qué nos detenemos? 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ¡ver! Año nuevo, mamá. Ah, feliz año nuevo, cariño. ¿No es la misma canción que tocaron el año pasado? Y así cada año desde que yo recuerdo. ¿Por qué es así? No lo sé. Brandon, ¿quieres alcanzar la bolsa de papel del asiento de atrás? Ábrela. Mira las sorpresas que tengo para ti en Año Nuevo. Puedes abrir el ginger ale y ponerte tu gorrito de fiesta. Y podemos jugar a que es champán. 
De verdad no quiero. ¿Por qué no? Brandon, sé que un coche no es un buen sitio para una fiesta. Pero el año nuevo está a punto de empezar. Y lo vamos a celebrar tú y yo. Ahora que te tengo otra vez. Será un año maravilloso para los dos. ¿Por qué estamos conduciendo tanto? A mí tampoco me gusta. Brandon, es un coche lo de detrás. Allí, a lo lejos. No, creo que es una gasolinera o algo así. ¿Qué estás buscando? Maldita sea, ese cruce 10 millas atrás llevaba una carretera interestatal. Bueno, ¿volvemos? No sé. Dijo la no policía sé. si estaba buscando el coche de Sí, Gina. pero es medianoche y no tienen la matrícula. Así que les hemos perdido. Debemos dirigirnos al pueblo más próximo, dormir un rato y empezar de nuevo mañana. Puede que no vuelva a ver a Brand. Vamos, no hables así, lo verás. Está bien, tuve que enfrentarme a eso antes. Puede que no esté mejorando, pero no es por falta de práctica. Lo siento. No, no te disculpes. No es culpa tuya, fuiste maravilloso. Hiciste todo esto por mí. Te quiero, Cruz. Santana, yo... Como, yo... como un hermano, como un amigo. No es nada que no supieras antes. Estoy tan cansado que casi no veo. Fue una noche desperdiciada. Un año desperdiciado para mí. Sí, un paso para adelante y dos para atrás. Por lo menos el año nuevo no puede llevarse nada. Ah, oh, eso probablemente me costará siete años de mala suerte. Toca madera. <risa> Cruz, echas de menos a Aiden esta noche. Venga ya. <risa> ¿Quieres que conduzca yo? No, dentro de un minuto puede. Feliz Año Nuevo, mundo. El mundo te dice también, Feliz Año Nuevo. Dale las gracias en mi nombre. Ah, sí. Y dice que las cosas mejorarán para nosotros. Iden. Kirk. Cariño. Estoy asustada. Está bien, ya estoy aquí. Estoy aquí, nena. Deja que te mire. ¿Te encuentras bien? Estaba preocupado por ti. Ese avión no iba demasiado rápido. Me sentía tan sola. No había nadie con quien pudiera hablar o a quien llamar. Nunca volveré a dejarte si tú quieres. Lo digo en serio. Estoy asustada. Oh, cariño. Te he echado tanto de menos. Yo también. Ven aquí. Es noche vieja. Deberíamos haber estado juntos. Lo estamos ahora. Iden, cariño. Te quiero. ¿Qué quiero? Que... Quiero demostrarte cuánto. Feliz año nuevo. Janis. <risa> Janis. Feliz, Feliz año, año nuevo. Te quiero. Feliz año nuevo. Lo va a ser. Sabes, deberías tener tu chica, Ted. Ese es mi propósito, ¿cómo lo sabía? Vamos a desear feliz año nuevo a Kelly y Yannick. De acuerdo. 
Hey. Feliz año nuevo. Feliz, Feliz año. año nuevo. Kelly, quiero hablar contigo. Nick es un buen hombre. Sí, lo sé. Quiero que sigas con él. Pienso hacerlo. Bien. Hey, feliz año nuevo, futuro hermano. Escucha, quiero hablar contigo. ¿Eres claro. feliz esta noche? Sí, te lo agradezco mucho. Me han dicho que tú lo habías declarado todo. Bueno, no todo, pero no hay de qué. Kelly, me caes bien. Ha habido veces que... Bueno, quiero que seas feliz. Gracias. Feliz año nuevo. Feliz año nuevo. Feliz año nuevo. Ten cuidado. ¿Qué le pasa? No lo sé. No ha dicho nada. No. Lo sabe él. Le conozco. Y tú le conoces. Cuando salgan todos por esa puerta para ir a casa, te lo echará en cara. ¿Qué vas a decirle? Feliz año. Feliz año, Dylan. <risa>